Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a very new stream here on this Sunday evening. I'm your host, Dennis, and today we have two matches in the Champions Conference 1. Zypher Orange against Pushing Gaming. But be before we go any further, I wanted to introduce my yourself. My name is Dennis, and joining me is Savvy. How are you doing, Savvy? I'm doing really good, yeah. Very excited to see the uh, how this series goes. Obviously, two powerhouses in the Champions Conference, uh, Conference 1. Zypher Orange, who are currently 2-0. Pushing Gaming, who just an hour ago uh, wrapped up their second win of the season also. So yeah, I think this is a battle between first and second in, in the division, so it should be a really exciting game. Yeah, it definitely should be. Just like you said, Pushing Gaming swept Stealth 7 just an hour ago, so they really have a good momentum going into this series. So, um, you know, two powerhouses of the Champions Conference 1, so it's a really good series, maybe one of the best series of this division. And, you know, it's really exciting to see how this series will go. So, before we go any further, let's just go into, you know, the predictions. Because, Sefi, what do you think? Who are you backing? for this series well as much as i love the guys at uh, zypher orange there uh good friends of mine um i do think that pushing gaming coming into this one are an incredibly strong team especially ha after having uh swept both their series so far they swept as you said a very strong team in themselves they also swept gedalian's tempest earlier in the season one of the newly promoted teams uh in dominant fashion absolutely uh, one-sided series and zypher orange have kind of struggled the first two games against unknown e uh, esports evasive and against stavak momentum uh, were both five game series they just managed to scrape past them so i feel like pushing gaming have a lot of momentum coming to this and i feel like as a team they're more high quality so i feel like they're going to pull off probably a 3-1 maybe 3-2 win here all right, that's fair enough. I think I'll go to um, Zypher Orange, just to be the opposite. Like, I know Pushing Gaming has had a really good season so far, a really good start with two wins, but so does Zypher Orange. They have had two, two Game 5 series, and, uh, you know, they have a good light going in, into the series as well. I think it's in the end, just, I'll just go for the underdog Zypher Orange, because, of course, Pushing Gaming maybe off this division, but, you know, Zypher Orange, and uh, capability uh, win big matches. They were against um, Stabbing Momentum. They were the underdogs against Unknown Esports Evasive, and now they are the underdogs against Pushing Gaming. Maybe it's there they can make it happen. The underdog season, maybe they can qualify themselves for playoffs, getting into the top. So, um, mm. yeah, it's going to be a really great series. And, uh, you know, it's really, really excited. Are you as well, Savvy? Yeah, of course. I feel like, um, yeah, the Cypher Orange team, as you say, they've clutched out a lot of series. And hopefully that sort of clutch mentality, you know, the um, ability to close out the series and not get tilted, perhaps, by the uh, losing games earlier and keeping that mentality going strong against, uh, perhaps, uh, on paper, a better team is really what's going to carry them through this. I mean, I don't think we've seen much of pushing gaming in the ECC before. So... In this community, at least, they're more of a newcoming side, and uh, we'll have to see how they react to probably their biggest challenge of the season so far. Yeah, definitely the biggest challenge for the season so far. So if we have a look on the rosters, on the side for Orange, we see TJX, TRG, Camo, and Kieran as their sub. And for uh, Pushing Gaming, let me actually see. Um, we got... Uh, it's a full Spanish team. Karka, Kratos, Ro, Gomez, J Lero, and Exito as their subs. So it's, um, you know, the full Spanish side. I don't know much about them, but they've definitely shown they're a really good side there in ECC, in the Champions Division. So, um, yeah, really excited to see how this series is going to go. You know, Cypher Orange, can they make this season happen? Can they, can they qualify for playoffs? Do you think, Savvy, they have the capability to go, um, you know, maybe even 9-0 in this season? Well, Cypher Orange definitely have the capacity to make those playoff spots i mean obviously they've, they've had a really good result so far um, if they can keep up that consistency then of course they will be pushing for those playoff spots uh, in terms of pushing gaming i feel like um on paper again uh, statistically they're a much stronger team looking at um previous things like ranked obviously is not a great indicator but we see that overall they do tend to be higher ranked and i've seen them around in six mans and things like that and um, where they do seem to be quite dominant quite uh, high level players and i feel like Zypher Orange, this is kind of their make or break moment in the season. You know, they've, they've had some good results against some some of the lower seeded teams, and now they've got a really big challenge here against uh, one of the higher seeded teams. And like, if they can win this, then that'll set them up for a really good chance of making the playoff spots. However, if they fall today, then those playoff spots are going to be slipping away from them. As there are only three in this conference, as there are two conferences, and there are uh, as there are only six teams in the playoffs. So it's going to be really tough for them if they want to edge it out at the end of the season. 
Yeah, most definitely. It's um, you know, it's a really clutch game for both teams, for Zephyr Orange and Pushing Gaming. It's uh, the one who loses will just lose the first series of the season. And you know, they they are unbeaten so far, um, going into the third game of this season for both teams. But it's uh, you know, it's it's really a clutch game. They really want to win this series uh, to go. Uh, 3-0 and in uh, the season so far. We're still waiting for the teams to join, but, you know, it's really exciting to see who's going to win this. It's uh, Pushing Gaming, who are unbeaten so far, just like Cypher Orange. Cypher Orange needed two Game 5s to go where they are now in second place, and Pushing Gaming, they swept twice. So, you know, Pushing Gaming, on Game Differential, they have a better result than Cypher Orange, but, of course, Cypher Orange isn't a bad side either. They are the underdogs, and they are really the underdog team you know, maybe it was on an esports um, and stopping momentum, underestimating them. Um, and, you know, I think pushing gaming, they could be like they don't underestimate them right now because it's Cypher Orange. They already won two series and definitely will not be underestimated. So um, before we go any further, I want to thank Godellians for sponsoring this season. Um, really much appreciation to them. Um, so, Seve, do you, do you have anything to say about this series? Yeah, I think we're talking about um, promoted teams, obviously pushing gaming, playing Godalian's Tempest, who are a promoted team. Um, looking at that series as a sort of basis for what we can expect today, obviously that that's really the only point of comparison we have in terms of you know these, these teams who we haven't really seen much in the Champions Division, is um, pushing gaming statistics against Godalian's Tempest. I didn't watch the series, but they had over double as many shots per game. And that is a huge statistic because that shows that in terms of pressure and in terms of how they perform actually in game, it's incredibly one sided. And the fact that they just breezed past that team. And, you know, theoretically, Gagan and Tempest, they've uh, had some good performances in individual games, although they haven't been able to take any series yet. And uh, it shows that if they can be so dominant against uh, one of those other newly promoted teams, perhaps they're going to be the same against Cypher Orange here today. Yeah, definitely. And I think we can go into this series. All the players have joined the lobby. So um, I want you guys to have a good series. Have fun while watching. And uh, let's go into game one. So game one getting underway here between Zypher Orange and Pushing Gaming. TRG on the wall. Tries to do something with that camo. Tries to follow it up. Goes into the corner. So on the side of Pushing Gaming, we got Grillo, Hero, and Exido. And on the Zypher Orange side, we got Camo, TRG, and TJX. As we see TJX trying to get a double from the back wall. Oh, it's gone now. Camo tries to get it on the back wall again. Early pressure of the Zypher Orange side. So now going to the side of Zypher Orange. TRG tries to get it away from his goal. Grillo. Camo takes it over from him. He gets it again. TRG takes control. Bit of an awkward touch. Exido misses the ball with there, but TRG has none boost to work with. So Lero on back goal has not much boost. Camo tries to get a first shot of the game here. The second shot, I have to say. As you see, Camo is getting into the middle of the goal. Off the side. TRG, Grillo with save. Tries to follow it up. As it TJX gets to the middle, Lero is there to take it over from him. Demo with TJX to get into the middle. Grillo with a clean shot tries to find Exido. That's a good attempt there. Pushing game, can't find the goal there. TJX tries to get it clear. Takes it by itself. Can't find the second tap. TRG came to the left side of the field, tries to follow it up again. It looks like he has not much boost to work with. Still gets it to the center, to TJX. Camo. Exeter takes it over, and Lero can't find a touch. Exeter takes it over from him, tries to find Gorilla, but he just went back, and Camo has possession now. 50 by Gorilla. TJX pops it forward. So two minutes played, not much offense. 
So Safi, do you think this game will um, will go eventually to a, a more offensive game? Because for now we just kind of have a boring game. Uh, I see what you mean, yeah. This uh, sort of pushing game is struggling to get out of their own half. They haven't had much uh, pressure in terms of Zypher Oranges, in terms of being in Zypher Oranges half. Although we see here they're, they're making a real effort here, trying to use those mechanics to get through. And Chilioro almost putting that one away for 1-0. But this counter-attack from Zyphron, they're showing that they've really just come out the gate swinging and they're not really letting back anything. They've just heard, you know what, maybe we're the underdogs, maybe they are statistically a little better than us, but we're just going to go for it. Let's try and get some chances going. They've really kept up the pressure, playing really proactive Rocket League at the moment, and Zyphron show themselves that, you know, if they can keep this up, we're going to have a really good series on our hands and a really close one of that as well. Yeah, definitely. So far, it's been a really close game. You see some attempts over near. Like some attempts for Zyphe Orange, some attempts of push and gaming, but not really big chance for any team so far. See Camo with a pass to TJX. Can he do something with it? Fakes one, TRG, finds TRG, and it eventually falls in. The first goal of this series is called by Zyphe Orange. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of a surprise for us, but I feel like this is what Zyphe Orange have got to do. They're playing so aggressive right now. We've seen a few calculated third man commits, especially from Camo, who's playing that sort of anchoring role between THX and TRG, but really that dynamic duo up front, and they're linking up again here for the first goal of the series. Uh, Zyphe Orange is kind of dominating in the offense here. They're showing themselves that maybe we shouldn't really consider them underdogs anymore. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened also in the last series, because I um, remembered when I cast uh, Cypher Orange against Stubbing Momentum, they had a really aggressive playstyle, Cypher Orange, and it really works out for them, and it's it's like their opponents can't do really much about it. And again, Cypher Orange, with their aggressive playstyle, they are in the lead against one of the, one of the favorite side of the Champions Division, Pushing Gaming. But still, we have one and a half minutes remain, and uh, Pushing Gaming will do everything they can to get this game on their hands. Camo is there, Stir QRG gets it to Camo. Tries to redirect it. Goes to the middle, can't find TJX. Camo goes for the block, missed it though. QRG takes it over, has control, has possession, tries to get a ground pinch. Leoro takes it over. A brief death by TJX. Gets on the ceiling, Leoro tries to get a ceiling shot. As you see, the ball going to the net. Great shot by Exido, and that's the equalizer. Yeah, great shot there, right into the top corner from Exceed, a little bit more quality showing. I feel like pushing Gaming are trying to play a little more of a controlled sort of gameplay here. They're really controlling the boost amounts as well. That's really imperative to stopping those aggressive teams from just keeping their pressure up. Because if you starve them for boost, then they're going to struggle to keep up the relentless peppering of shots on your net. And that's exactly what they've done. They've made that counter-attack and Exito putting it right into the top corner, making his chance count there. Really great stuff there from him. Yeah, just like you said, it's pushing Gaming really having it controlled playstyle and you know that's maybe the way to to get off the Cypher Orange side and to to win against the Cypher Orange side and you know it's um again we see Grillo has pretty much boost to work with gets it back actually can't find a touch TJX has no boost now he picked up the 100 can he get do something from the wall he fakes out one gets past the other one with the ground pinch sees the ball getting into the corner but then by Exito, and that's not a good hit, but a good save by TJX. Very good save by him. It's 70 seconds to go, there was a really clutch save. I think Exito, maybe for one of the last attempts of this game, or we go to overtime. We'll see. TRG now, with a Fennec, gets a good 50. Grillo, Gamma with a shot, it looks like it's wide open! But it falls off the post and we go to yeah, overtime. The recovery, the recovery from Exito, they're perfect on the goal line to really get that save. I think Camo has been going to feel a little bit robbed for that. But again, the lack of boost showing he wasn't able to get that really powerful hit into the goal because, you know, frankly, he just didn't have yeah, the boost to get behind it. He was struggling. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's really the controlled playstyle by pushing gaming that saved them the game here so far. Can they keep it up is the question. 20 seconds into this overtime, as we exceed it going for the 50. Still is on the wall, backwards though. Gets the ball into the center. There is there. Now the side of the field whiffs it maybe intensely to get to Grillo, but the ball is at the camera. 1v1 against Exeter. Does he win it? No, it's fast on the crossbar. Grillo whiffs it, but he can still go on. I don't think he has any boost though. Lero gets it to the back wall. Tries to get it again. Can't find the double tap though. Exeter. No one there from Pushing Gaming. Camo again with a good fake it looked like. DJX now. Misses the ball. TRG. Last man is waiting. Exito. Almost. Good find the net there. Goes back. Camo, can he find the tap? 
no one there from Cypher so Orange to follow it up. Gorilla tries to take control, gets it out, but that's a good save from Exito. Again, a good chance by TRG. And now we see some good offenses by both teams. Now it's a really exciting game. A good save again by Camo from the back wall. TJX. No one really there from pushing gaming. He has control. That's it over to Camo because he has no boost. He goes up the ceiling. Exito is a bit late there, so it goes to the side of pushing gaming. Arrow is to the center, but no one really. Oh, Grillo is following it up. Tries to get the ball to the middle. Lero is there. Couldn't find a hit on the ball. TRG tries to follow it up. TJX is there. Grillo is waiting for him to do something. Gets a good bomb there by TRG. Camo pops it up. Lero tries to get a hit on it. TJX. Can he find the hit? No. Exito is there to clear it for pushing gaming. TRG. Loses the 50, even though he uses the Fennec. Exito is up, clear shot. In front of double, he tried, but Camo intercepts it from him. Double commit there by Zypher Orange. TRG as last man gets the ball to the side. All pushing game, he tried to flip reset there actually. Couldn't find the flip reset. As we see, TJX ball is up to the ceiling. Tries to get it to the middle again. Camo is there. Gets a shot, but that's an easy save for Laro. Gets it to Exido. TRG goes to the center. Camo. TJX. Can't really do much about that. TJX tries to get control here of the ball. Camo with a save. Exido with a clear shot. TRG is there. Demo there from Exido on Camo. Maybe leaves a bit of space there for pushing gaming. CTRG is up now, gets beat by Exito, Camo with the ball to the corner. And you know, it, it seems like it's they have the ball, both teams, they, they have possession, but they don't really do much about it. Um, do you think, Savvy? Yeah, it's definitely that sort of game one blues sort of thing, where you're a little bit hesitant to really make uh, bold plays. Uh, usually teams in game one will tend to feel each other out and sort of learn each other's playstyle so they can adapt. And, you know, play the best they can against that certain team for the rest of the series and yeah it seems like neither team is really interested in making these all-in plays to score and, and you know we're seeing that at the moment that's resulting in the shots being taken being you know, slightly early perhaps third man being very hesitant to commit um, sitting quite deep here as we see with Grillo just very far back with low boost and unable to really make a counter attack um, with a with a passing play because of it you know third man keeps not supporting their teammates as much as they possibly could and you know, we'll have to see which team sort of adapts faster because at the moment that's what it's going to be there's two very very evenly matched teams yeah and we're already four minutes into this overtime and still no goals has been scored in this overtime still going on and they think they they try to just do some solo plays but it's still 3v3 three three. solo plays are not really gonna work against two tough sides Cypher orange against pushing gaming demo yeah, can't take control See Grillo takes it over from him. DJX. And find a hit on it on the back wall. Tries to get over Lero. Has the boost to work with though. Tries to follow it up. But the ball gets cleared. Camo. Tries to get a ball to the center. So Grillo has possession now. No one really that challenging. PRG is too late, but TJX is there to clear the ball out. And the ball is going to the center. TJX too late again with his challenge. Lero tries to beat TJ. TRG, I think it was. Yoro tries to finally redirect on that. TJ actually the save. And gets the clear out now. Five minutes already in this overtime. And still, the, both teams can't really find the net. Let's see again. A weak opportunity again. We saw those already a couple of times in this overtime. They can't really find some good shots on target. That's really what they need now. Well, going to the wall. Getting into five and a half minutes of overtime now, and we're still seeing a lot of solo plays. I feel like there have been a lot of opportunities for passing plays, but again, the sort of second, third man being very hesitant. They, neither team wanting to lose the overtime, but neither team making the bold play to try and win it at the same time. And at the moment, I feel like you, know, at the moment you need people to be more ready for those passing plays. We could be seeing the end of it here with Exito, the dribble. I don't even know, this is so close. The TRG just barely getting the block in the way there. Really great opportunity for pushing gaming again to try and take the series, but they couldn't quite finish it off. 
Yeah, it's a really close game so far. Six minutes into this overtime already. We've got an 11 minute game. <laughs> Has to be one of the longest overtimes in ECC, but we're only in game one. And it's such a close game. But we just need to see more aggressive uh, ag aggressive plays, I think. Just more. Um, it's so, some more good shots on target because we don't see much great opportunities and that's not how you're gonna score you need some good opportunities against your opposite side to be able to eventually take this overtime to your hands so we see Gamma now can he do something with the Grillo blocks it Pete JX oh, blocked by Grillo and he keeps on going with blocking the shots blocking the 50-50s TJX has, has possession now and it could be dangerous TRG just clears it out the yeah, Xedo goes to the back wall. DJ with a whiff. Gamma with a big clear. There DRG takes control. Gets into the corner. And DRG still goes on. Tries to get it under his opposite side. He cleared that by Grillo. Tries to follow it up again. Goes to the corner. But TJX is waiting for that. DRG has no boost. TJX just. Gets it to the wall, has no boost to work with. And you know, just like you said, it's just usually Zyph Orange having a boost and pushing gaming really more controlled. You see Grillo tries to keep going, Camo gets bumped a bit of stir. DRG, good bomb by Grillo. Can to make something out of the Lero? Good clear there, we're almost at 8 minutes in overtime. Grillo goes to the center, no one really from pushing gaming there. It seems like they're a bit defensive at the moment. And eventually a goal has to come to make an end of this game. Camo gets a block. Grillo is there. Goes over the wall. Can he get a double tap? Again goes wide. DJX can get a block. Exito. Camo. See Grillo can get it out of his net. DJX has no boost to work with again. Gets to the center. Camo tries to pre-flick into that. Chilero tries to get to the center. TRG, easy clear for him. Looks like TRG is really much going for air dribbles. Just he's not going for really clears, but much just for air dribbles out of the game. Out of out, out of their side I have to say. But nearly nine minutes overtime. What are we seeing? Savvy, do you think South Orange will be able to get his game on or will it go to pushing gaming? I feel like pushing gaming have so many opportunities to make this this sort of <laughs> the goal happen, but I you know, they just kind of rotate a little bit too far back, I feel, and then the, the first man up doesn't really have anyone to support him when they make that final incisive play. Uh, we saw a couple times they had a pass in field, and you know, it would have been an open net had there been a man uh, in the middle of the opposing half, but unfortunately for them, they've gone too far back and can't quite reach it. So I feel like if they, if they keep this sort of really wide rotation going, uh, they're going to really struggle to keep the pressure up here. Um, and it seems like Zypher Orange is just get, getting these, you know, after a little bit of pressure and pushing, they make that counter-attack, they get shot off, and, and they, you know, they just don't really have the counter-attacking, you know, the progressive play to sort of uh, get a goal out of it, because they're just not supporting each other, they're forcing each other into 1v1s, and at the moment the defense from both teams has been incredibly strong, no real major hiccups there, the 1v1 defense especially being incredibly solid from both teams. So it'll either be a, a mistake in one of those 1v1s, or one team's going to have to adapt if they want to take what we have a nearly 10 minute overtime now, a 15 minute game of Rocket League. Yeah, this is one of the longest games of Rocket League I've ever seen, 10 minute overtime, but we are seeing just really solid defense from both sides. And I think, you know, if you have solid defense, but not really good offense, you can't really, you know, you can't really score, and that's really what hap what's happening now. And finally, 10 minutes and 9 seconds of overtime, pushing gaming, finally find their goal. Wow. Yeah. Game 1 has been ended finally after 50 minutes. Yeah, they've really just abused the fact that they've had the boost control and finally making an aggressive play there. I believe it was um, Exeter there putting it perfectly on the, on the little corner of the backboard, dropping it down directly. And then Grillo there securing the goal in a game where they had 18 shots and uh, Zyfrage having 14 saves. Ridiculous defense from both teams and very uh, interesting stuff. We'll have to see how that affects Zyfrage's mentality, especially, you know, losing a 10 minute overtime isn't something that you just brush away. You know, it's, it's going to be tough for them to bounce back, really, I suppose, see if they can keep up that intensity that they had in, in the last game and that, you know, that's 
keeping a level head and staying solid for the next two games uh, or up to four games even. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen then. Let's go uh, to game two. Oh, nice. So if we went for maintenance, we right. to see it. All right. All right, so we just are 10 minutes over time as we're still just waiting for the teams to join in. But 10 minutes over, I think I've never seen an ECC <laughs> like, or even in a league game that, that I've saw 10, 10 minutes over time, not even in all CS. Have you ever seen something like that, Savvy? I think uh, the longest overtime I've seen uh, in high level play was, I think it was a Vitality versus Dignitas series a, a long time ago, and there was uh, up to 15 minutes of overtime. Uh, Camo has just joined a team, by the way, and uh, pushing gaming on quite in yet. Um, we'll just uh, remake again. Um, yeah, it's yeah, definitely um, been a. A, a weird game. Ten minutes over time. Yeah. Great defense from both sides. And what yeah. what does Cipher Orange need to do else to be able to win this game too? Well, as we discussed last game, I think the boost control is something that is going to really make or break Cipher Orange again. Because looking at how they struggled, uh, it always seemed as if they had one counter attack player. Uh, oftentimes it was different people, TJX, TRG, and Camo all getting involved. But it was always one at a time. You know, the the, the second and third man always. A low boost. Um, they let the they let the first man take the big pad that was there, make a play. But because the second and third man were quite low boost, they couldn't support them. They couldn't come up with them. So there was no chance for an infield pass. There was no chance for a backboard or an off the wall pass, for example. And really, against a team like Pushing Gaming, who are incredibly good players, you've got to make use of passing plays because they're going to read your solo plays. They're going to defend them quite effectively. But if you can make incisive passing plays between the three of you as, a, as an attacking team, then that's what's really going to break those teams down. That's how the really high-level teams uh, do win their series. You'll, you'll, you'll always see them getting these complicated passing plays, really going for it. And Zypher Orange at the moment, they need to sort of be more conservative, I think, with their boost and also be, you know, moving uh, in motion, sort of trusting their teammates a little bit more on the defense. Like, so a lot of double and triple commits and just sort of go for a bit of boost, you know, collect a few pads, get, for, get a big pad if you can and then come back, and then you've got some boosts saved up. You can make a counter-attack, um, you know, if the series continues how it is right now, you can make an effective counter-attack and, and get a goal out of it. Yeah, I think you have to join the the, the, the game, because yeah, it already has started. It's uh, oh. one of the type orange, and already off to 20 seconds. Already? Yeah, I didn't 20... even know it was up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just took 10 minutes, and they couldn't find the goal. But now, after 20 seconds already, <laughs> It's scored. It's, it's it's just a game. It's just a rocket league. I don't understand how the, how that can happen. But TJX now can he get a second? Get the second goal for Cypher Orange. Now they score twice in just 40 seconds. What's happening here? See, well, I I knew exactly what was going to happen, even without even being here. TRG and TJX linking up on the counter attack, making use of the passing plays, uh, <laughs> having a little bit more boost to them. And Cypher Orange already two goals up, doing in 42 seconds double what they could in in 15 minutes. You know. <laughs> Classic, I miss 30 seconds and they obviously dominate pushing gaming. We'll have to see how they continue if pushing gaming can react well to this. Yeah, definitely. We'll see how pushing gaming can react to this. It's a 2 0 up now for Zypher Orange. And uh, pushing gaming will try to do everything they can to get this game 2 on their hands. If we get into match point, but we'll see the ball now. Piero gets a free shot, but TJX is there for an easy save. Well, going to the wall. Camo tries to take control. Maxito with an easy clear. Goes to the center, but TJX couldn't find it on that. There's the arrow. 
tries to find Exeter. Can he find Exeter? Just runs out of boost. Double commit there. Looks like an overcommit from Grillo. There's a feature X now. Has a clean shot. Zero. Is waiting, but Exito is taking the over. Camo tries to get it ball to the center. Grillo gets an elder tap on that. Goes to the crossbar. Clean shot for Lero, but can't find the net. Camo gets it up to the wall. That's a challenge though by Exito. Ajax just gives possession. It's pushing gaming. The DRG is there. Let's take it over again. Camo gets on the wall. The ball is just getting cleared. Oh, let's have a few. Grillo, can he do something with the ball? Tries to get it past the RG. Still has possession. Goes on the crossbar. Camo with the clear to the right side. It's still offense for pushing gaming. But now THJ can finally clear it for Zypho Orange. The arrow. Gets it to the right side of the field. The arrow. Gets it again. Can someone there get a hit on that? No. Again a whiff. I think Savvy we just see some offensive mistakes there by pushing gaming and they can't really seem to score. What do you think? Yeah, I think there's a certain sense of urgency in their play at the moment. Obviously they've got to score two goals, but you know, they've got a lot of time to do it, but at the moment they're acting as if they've only got ten seconds, you know, they're, they're rushing everything. It feels like they're just banging everything up the field and just hoping that a teammate can rush to it. You know, and we've seen in their in their hitting upfield Exito just rushing the ball there. Good challenge on that occasion, but they're getting punished for it on others. And really just throwing away the ball, yeah. You see Leoro going for the backboard and Camo's just waiting patiently there to take the ball away from him. Yeah, I feel like Zyper are now taking that control playstyle that, that Pushing had at the start of last game. And they're really running with it at the moment. Yeah, definitely. And just like you said, you know, you need some more passing plays to be able to defeat the defense of Zyper Orange. And just not throwing the ball away, because that's certainly not going to help you making a goal. And they need at least two in this series, or in this game, to get it to overtime again. DJX is to the right side. No one there. Exito tries to take control. Maybe a passing place is here. Liero tries to get again, but there we saw a good passing play. There we see. Exito tries to get again. Has no boost. DRG tries to get again. Flicks it over Grillo. But Liero is there to clear it. And again. DRG. Rushing back has 100 boost. DJX is too late with his chance again. Grillo. DJX with a good clear. Gamma okay, tries to get a shot. Maybe a pass at DRG. No. Gamma yeah, tries to get again. Gets on the wall. And pushing gaming. Do have 40 seconds to not lose this game too. After they won a game on 10 minute overtime, they tried to make this game theirs as well. To see an offense here by pushing gaming save but it eventually goes in the arrow the first goal of pushing gaming in this game is effect yeah we've seen a couple of times i found lapsing a little bit in uh, getting back you know struggle they don't really have anyone in there and cameron's struggling to get to the ball i feel like THX has actually got a panic touch there he didn't have to rush it so much he didn't have to hit that i don't think maybe cameron would have got back but yeah that you know pushing gaming now being a little bit more clinical in that place we're seeing it again the punishing 50-50 there from Grillo there. Exito with probably the easiest shot he'll ever have in the ECC. TRG, unfortunately, not much he could do about that. And call it a kick off goal, call it what you want. That's great play from Kapushin Gaming. They have to tie it up 2-2 with 20 seconds remaining. A great comeback we're seeing here from Kapushin Gaming. They were 2-0 down, and just in five seconds, they equalized to 2-0. It seems like if none of these uh, teams score, we're going to have an overtime again. An offense at Banero. DJX with a save, TRG double commit there, Camo has to get it as third man, and he does, TRG can't find a hit on a D redirect. Lost offense maybe for Zypher Orange, Axido has to clear that, Grillo is there, can he find a good shot, he gets a shot, but should be a save for Zypher Orange, it goes up in center, but no one from Fusion Gaming there to finish it. And once again, we're seeing an overtime, let's see if it goes again to 10 minutes, maybe even more, DJX gets it up, goes to the middle, now. Cypher Orange tries to get this overtime, really short one. But there are now still no teams scored. As you see, Exito just pops it down. DJX on the wall. No one really from Pushing Gaming challenging that. Grillo is now gets to the center. The Euro tries to shoot it there. DRG beats out the Euro without boost. Beats two defenders actually. 
without boost. Well played by TOG. DJX can't really get centered there. Really awkward by him. Still finds a hit. This is all goes to the opposite side now, and that's nearly in for pushing gaming. Nearly had their game, but their goal, their game in their hand. As well, gets up now. Camera tries to get again, has no boost any, anymore. Grillo. DJX, can he find the center? No, he doesn't. Oh, goes up. Exito misses his challenge. He goes up to the back wall. Grillo with an important clear. Camera, can he find? His teammates can find a shot. He can, but saved by the arrow. Exeda tries to get again. TRG. The ball goes to the side of pushing gaming now. Camo can get it now. Can get a center. And again, Savvy, I think both teams are really looking defensive in this overtime. It looks like they're really stressing in overtime, don't you think? Yeah, I feel like it's obviously that situation where neither team wants to lose, but again, you know, pushing gaming again. They, they were making a few more link-up plays, and here comes one here off the backboard. Almost an insane play there. But we've seen already them going for quite a few double-tap plays, quite a few little solo aerials, and that's really not going to work against Cypher Orange. We've seen that it's going to be team plays that make it work, and TRG rips it into the top shelf, crossbar and down. Not exactly a team play, I don't think. TJ is getting a dunk on there, but you know the defensive mishap from pushing gaming is really uh, the, the big error here. Yeah, and you could see it happening when the ball just fell down. It was a defender, really awkward there. And in the end, it was the goal there for Zyphe Orange that secured them this game. And it's 1-0 now, both overtimes. It just shows that this series is a really close one. It's uh, it's a really fun series to watch. And, um, you know, do you think, Savvy, Zyphe Orange can continue this streak, can continue this momentum? Or do you think Pushing Gaming will take this next game? Well, I, I have to say I'm... Not entirely sure. We've seen that pushing gaming are a good team, but if, if they, we don't know how well they adapt to losing a game, you know, because I don't think they have yet uh, in the ECC. I think that's the first game that's ever been taken off them in this competition. So we'll have to see how they react. Um, game three should be, you know, showing us perhaps who's going to win this series. Let's get right into it. Yeah, definitely. The first game of pushing gaming that they lost in this, um, in this season of the three series. Pretty good result by them, but it's all tied up here in this series. As you see the ball now, Camo can get a big clear. Exito tries to get into the corner, tries to get it center again. TJX is there. Hero gets to his own corner. Has 100 boost to work with. But TJX can get it on that. Tries to get to the center. As you see the ball going to the same corner again. TRG. 50 with Leoro, both falls to death. Double demo there from the Pushing Gaming side. So TRG now taking control. Both plays back, of course, after the demo. DJX can get a weak shot. Leoro, easy save for him, but there's no boost. Grillo takes it over. TRG is up for that, gets into the corner. DJ has to get that, and he does. To the middle, though. Exito is waiting on that. Grillo is going for that, but so is Camo. And the arrow can get it again. And again, we don't see much passing plays. I, I, I think they really got to connect more with each other, uh, sadly, because it, it, it does not look great from both teams, to be fair. They can't really fight each other. And, you know, if they want to score more goals, they really got to connect with each other more. Yeah, to me, what it looks like is that Pushing Gaming are a very capable team going for a lot of solo plays and I feel like they're, they're trying to use their mechanics. Uh, it's quite evident that you know they've been going for a lot of mechanical plays. They are mechanically a stronger side than Cypher Orange. But I think they've got to adapt that because that's not going to, as, as we've seen you know, game two, right? So that's not going to be what, um, what wins the series for them. You know, mechanical plays, they can only get you so far. Um, I feel like if they can adapt, uh, again, you know, as I said earlier, we don't know how well they adapt as a team and camo! <laughs> you know, completely shutting me up there, so showing me that maybe they can't adapt pushing game in there. A bit of a one one minded team, you know. Getting a little solo play there, shutting my theory up about passing plays being the only thing that work in high level play. And yeah, one nil to Zyph Orange again leading game three. Yeah, again Zyph Orange with an important leader in game three. TRG now tries to find TJX. There we see a bit of a passing play. Hero can get it out. Good demo there. From Exido on Camo, who was third, but unfortunately, for pushing game, they can't really find a good offense. DJX can get on the back wall, can get a clear to Camo. Camo tries to follow it up again. 
good demo again. Really good play there, Grillo, with the demo on DRG and it's Liero. We can yeah, get that absolutely brutal from pushing game in there. Liero with a great dish off the sidewall there. Grillo going for the demo, Exito just throwing himself in there for the fun of it. Really just a dominant play there in the offense. I feel like pushing gaming have maybe found that weakness of Cypher Orange if they can get those demo plays, get that fast throw in a demo and uh, and take the game, then uh, take the goal rather, then perhaps that's going to be their key to getting past the Cypher Orange defense because at the moment it's been fairly locked up. Yeah, and usually it's, you know, the demos, it's the, the play style of Cypher Orange you saw in the series before they played this series, but it's now pushing gaming with the demos on Cypher Orange getting their, themselves a goal here in this game. You see DJX now, yes, Leo can get a clear to the left side. DJ, TRG with a clear shot, save on the crossbar, and again an opportunity, well placed by TJX, left bottom corner, good goal there. Yeah, great pressure. TRG getting a great shot into the top shelf. The two defenders double committing there. Lioro not quite going for what I would reckon that going for the squishy save there off the, his own goal, uh, goal's roof. Um, not quite reacting well to the, the, the play, he being the only one in net. But there's not much he could do there as TJX was clinical, putting it into the bottom corner. Uh, Cypher Orange creating a lot of pressure and retaking the lead here, showing that perhaps they are going to be this top Champs Div team that we think they could be. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I would say the one who wins this would go on the top of the Champions Conference once. So both teams really want to win this. But for now, it's South Orange leading in Game 3 with a one all score in the series. The Euro tries to find it, his teammates to the center, but Camo is there for a clear. TRG can he find a tap again? He does, but has no boost. As you get another tap, not much pressure from the pushing gaming side. Grelo is there then. The arrow misses the read. The bow gets upwards. Achido, can he find a hit on that? He's actually for two TRG to clear it. Which is Grillo gets to the back wall. Exito loses the 50. Gets into the corner of pushing gaming now. TRG almost play of Cypher Orange could fight each other. But for now, it's still Cypher Orange leading with one goal. Just one minute remaining. TRG. TJX has a bit of time now. He cannot can get the clear. Pushing gaming really. You need to need a goal now to not let Cypher Orange get the match point. They want the match point themselves after they want the 10 minutes overtime in game one. Grillo. Uh, clear again. Leor can find Exito. Goes to the corner. Can get a hit again. Camel's awkward in goal. Oh, Camo can just find the safe. Leoro and the pushing gaming is really pushing now for that second goal for them in this game. But it's now Zypher Orange in the offense. Leoro needs a big clear and he does. But TJX just follows it up. Grillo, last offense of the game probably. Still up. Leoro gets into the corner. TRG, but it's still up. Exito goes to the side. Grillo can try to get to the center. Pushing game tries to get a zero second goal, but they can't find it. Cypher Orange on match point, and Cypher Orange are on 2 1 in this series now. Yeah, dominant performance from them. I think mechanically, we, we said earlier that Pushing Gaming are mechanically a better team, but Cypher Orange had some great, say, air dribbles coming out of the defense, getting all those follow up touches. They've really just not let Pushing Gaming have any space really to work with, uh, using those um, high level basic mechanics, if that's what you want to call them, to sort of you know, get 50s in places where you wouldn't expect them and really just completely shut down pushing gaming's chances in the offense there. Only uh, four shots to Zypher Orange's six. Not a huge difference, but it's just enough to give them the win. Yeah, definitely. And I'm really interested to see if Zypher Orange can continue. I mean, they they won game two, they won game three. If they win game four, they let pushing gaming lose the first series of this season. It's really interest, interesting to see if pushing gaming can come back from this. But we'll see how it will go. Both really close to each other. Two overtimes and the last game was just one goal difference. So really interesting to see if Pushing Gaming can come back from this. Cypher Orange will try to win this to get their unbeaten, ser unbeaten season so far continue. But Pushing Gaming will do everything they can to keep their, con their unbeaten, ser unbeaten season going. And they really 
are trying to do that here by Grillo scoring the first goal for Pushing Gaming. Yeah, a little bit of a defensive mishap. We haven't seen much of these from Zyphor. They've generally been a very uh, defensively tight team, but Camo not quite getting the clear that he wants, hitting directly downfield, not very powerful clear either. And the, the, the attackers there sort of punishing him with the open net finish. No mistake there from the, uh, from the Pushing Gaming side. Yeah, TJ actually now to get to the left side of the field. Camo, can he get a hit on that? Lero, late with a challenge. Let's see if he can get a clear. TJ is waiting, but a bit awkward by him. TRG takes it over from him, gets to the back wall. Lero can get a clear. TJX now. I see the. Does he get again? Really good hit is going in. Oh, nearly really good assist there though. Grillo can get find the open net, but really good goal there by pushing Gaming. Yeah, Exito there showing off those advanced mechanics almost in. That would have been one of the contenders for ECC Color this season, I'm sure, because those wall reads are incredibly difficult to hit there. Although, Grillo there making no mistake, punishing the defense for a shoddy read on the post bounce. And taking the lead 2 0 here, this is the first time they've been ahead by two goals. Bushy Gaming coming out strong in game four. Yeah, they really do. They want to do everything they can to push this series to a game five. Because I have Orange will try to close out the series. A bit awkward there. But still, Exito can find the goal there. TJX has no boost, so come to get a double. Euro takes it over, picks it up. TRG challenges it. Should be an easy save. Exito indeed saves it. Euro still on the back wall of pushing gaming. Uh, good fade by the Euro. As you saw, TRG just going for the block. Exito, TRG waiting. And again, Exito just. Faking on that wall. It seems like they really have the control in this game. We're well, going to the back wall. DJ, can you find a hit on that? Hero can get a clear. It seems like Pushing Game is getting a bit pressure now by Zypher Orange. Can they finally get out of the hole? It seems like they can now get to the center. Exito gets into the corner. Hero has possession. Can he get again? GRG clears it. Pops it up. DJX. Now we see the ball going to the center. Leoro. Go upside. Left side of the field. No one really from pushing gaming there. Follow it up. TRG has a bit of time now. Exido waiting for him. Camo now in the corner. Weird corner bounce. Double commit by TJX and Camo. That should be TJX's ball. Uh, we saw someone going for the block. And that's a really good fade by TJX. And we see the first goal for Cypher Orange in this game. Yeah, Exito, they're throwing the nice one out there. TJX was a great fake originally, and he does it again. Camo there. You have to respect Camo's positioning. Perfectly setting up the fake by being in position for a pass, and TJX there reads the fact that his defender's reading the pass, fakes it, gets it into the back of the net. Incredible offensive play there from Zyphoro, and showing why they're in fact still in the series, still with a chance of making these playoff spots in the Champions Conference. Yeah, there was some high IQ play there by Cypher Orange. We now see Cypher Orange pushing for that goal, trying to get this game fall to their hands to win this series, but still pushing gaming, winning or leading by one goal. See the ball now, left side of the field. See some passing plays trying to come now. And we see a good double tap again, double wall read. And we see some pressure now for pushing gaming, but doesn't go in. Again, just falls off the same pose and now TRG now with possession, dribbles. Exido. Now it's the Leroy now. You see the ball now going back to the side or the side. Exido, can he find it on that? He's on the wall, can he take control? He beats TJX, tries to get a demo on TRG. You see a camo with a fake, it looks like has no boost though. T TRG can he get the ball to the center? TJ Axel's waiting for the Grillo will try to get to the center. As you see the ball going to the middle and it falls in. Third goal of Pushing Gaming now. Yeah, trying to secure this game because they really want to take this to game five here. Continue their unbeaten streak, but we see really clinical play there. See, maybe not he didn't intend to get that pinch with the defender, but the speed that he had to the ball there, showing why the, the, this offense is just so lethal. The pushing gaming uh, guys have just absolutely torn apart Cypher Orange in that play there. Yeah, and Cypher Orange really need to do something else to get this game to their hands. The pushing gaming on the verge of letting this series go to a game 5. As the ball goes to the center, TRG 
Cypher Orange has one minute to remain to make this series theirs. DJX, ball to the center. Exito takes it over, flicks it up. DRG with the clear. DJX now has a bit of time, but gets the ball a bit too much forward. Grillo pops it down. Really good pass, but Leora can't find the net. Can't find the hit, hit on the ball. Ball gets popped down. No really from pushing gaming there to get to, to finish it. As we see, Zyphe Orange. Maybe they can get the goal. Get the two goals actually. But they really need to get some pressure now, which they actually do. TRG actually takes it over. DJX to the center. Camo is there. Less it on the field. No one is there. Camo has to follow it up himself. Rifts it. Less possession for pushing gaming. There you are right now. It's 14 seconds on the clock. Looks like this series is going to a game 5. Grillo pops it up. Exito. Right side. There you are. Couldn't really find the hit. And pushing game will just patiently close out this game. And it is a game five in this series. Pushing gaming has won this game four. And game five is about to be a stunning one, Savvy. Yeah, I mean, if, if Zypher Orange can win this one, then they will be the ultimate game five champions. They're taking two game fives already out of two series. And I'm sure they'll be looking to get that record, obviously. They've proven themselves uh, as a mentally strong team that can shut out series. But pushing gaming as well. Honestly, with how these games are going, you say one minute Zypher Orange has incredible momentum winning two games in a row, gonna have to restart the server again. But, but then Pushing Gaming comes out so incredibly strongly there, mechanically, Exito hitting wall reads. Uh, I saw them also going for a pre jump passing play as well earlier on. And frankly, it's who knows <laughs> which team's gonna show up big in game five because you've seen both teams come out both very strongly in the first four games here. So anything can happen really. Yeah, definitely anything can happen. And I have predicted Cypher Orange will take this series with a 3-2. And, you know, it's it's really possible now. Because Cypher Orange, they are playing good. Pushing gaming just, you know, they closed down the game in game four. But Cypher Orange, they had a good momentum with winning two games in a row. After losing, they game won 10 minutes overtime. But here we are. I think all players I'm are in the lobby now. <laughs> I'm not going to be late to this one, I don't think. <laughs> I hope not. Players are joining Indeed. now. Right Cypher time. Orange against Pushing Gaming for a game five. Camo finally joins for Cypher Orange. Miroro is there does for the kickoff. That's actually Axido against DJX. Goes to the corner. Can they find themselves? An early goal goes from the post and eventually goes in. Axido gets the early goal for Pushing Gaming in this game yeah. five. Lovely finish from him, bit of a one They're getting the kickoff strong play there. TRG making the wrong turn, going forward instead of backwards, leaving the net, uh, you know, the side of the net open, relatively wide open for it. So they get a perfect shot, even with no boost. He doesn't need it. He hits it to the back corner. One over pushing, gaming five seconds gone. Yeah, that's exactly what they want in this game five to get this series, to get this game and the series to their hands. And it's again pushing, gaming in offense. Safe so orange try. To just clear it now, Exido. Let's get an offense going again. Nero has a clean shot, TJX. If ball and block there. Grillo gets it from the back wall. Damn, can he get a hit? He can. Tries to get it to the center. TRG was waiting for that. Exido, 1v1 situation. No, Camo is there to help. Side for Orange there. TRG just clears it to the corner. As he follows it up himself. And the ball is again. Grillo can't find a hit on that. 50 50. You can see the arrow now. He gets to the right side. He can follow up himself. Picks up the boost. Tries to go for the ceiling. He can get the ceiling shot, but not a really good hit there. You can see it clear now. TRG goes to nowhere. Like Shido. He's just following up himself. They are a clean shot. Tries to find like Shido. Pops it down. But. No one for pushing gaming to finish that drop down. This ball gets into the corner. Grillo, can he find a shot? He actually can, but can't find a net. Camo gets about to TJX. Preflix it into Camo. Camo, can he do something with it? Grillo there intercepts it. Can he find a shot? Gets cleared again as I have Orange. As I have Orange, they have had no offense at all in this game so far. They really need to pressure pushing gaming a bit more because we're just seeing a bit 
pressure from Christian Gaming and Cypher Orange isn't really there to you know convert us convert the, the offense they have into you know good pressure. Do you think, Savvy? Yeah, Cypher Orange is struggling with the sort of game one uh, problem that they had, being unable to sort of break out of this pressure right now. It's only a one goal game at the moment. We'll have to see if uh, Cypher Orange can equalize. They only do need the one goal. But at the moment, their pressure is just completely non-existent. They've had no shots in the first two minutes, and Leoro is going to double push and game one's advantage here. 2 0. More than half the game remaining for Zyper Orange, but it's looking more and more convincing that Pushing Gaming are going to be finishing out this series in five. Yeah, and I would say a deserved goal for Pushing Gaming. We haven't seen any offense from Zyper Orange so far, and Pushing Gaming is really having this game in their hands. Still more, more than a half game to go, but it's Zyper Orange now. Really need to pressure Pushing Gaming to get itself this series. Pushing Gaming, like you said, it's a control team, and Cypher Orange, they, their playstyle is a bit aggressive, but I can't really see the playstyle back into this series, to be fair. It's uh, Leora now, tries to get it back. Camo now, tries to get it to the center. He's unlucky there, but the ball just didn't find the car of the Cypher Orange offender. Leora to Exito, can he? Leora can find it again, it gets to the center, but Pushing Gaming is taking no risk. As the ball gets to the center. Exito with a clear Leor tries to redirect the DJX is there. Gets it up to the wall. Exito still at the side of side for Orange. Roughly two minutes remain. You see Camo going up just like TRG. Seems like TRG has not much boost to work with. Still gets the ball to the center. After the 50, DJX with a shot. Should be a save for Exito and indeed it does. Grillo with the pass to Exito. Wasn't open eh, if it could have that hit on the Grillo, just pops it up. Tries to get the third goal for pushing gaming, saved by TJX. TRG gets the ball to Camo. As we see a hit there by TJX. Tries to get again as a boost on the back wall. Still can get it to Camo. Camo on the crossbar, really unlucky by them. One minute to remain. Still two goals up for pushing gaming. Camo going up for that. So does Exido, and he wins it actually, without boost. It's to Grillo. Leoro still keeps on the side of Cypher Orange. And Cypher Orange really needs need, need some pressure on Pushing Gaming to win this game 5. TRG. Uh, maybe last offense. One of the last offenses. As we see, TJX still can't find the net. They had some opportunities, but they just can't find the net. Camo is up, up to the right side of the field. TRG still not. Leoro just completed solid defense of pushing gaming they have had some really solid defense in this game so far 30 seconds to go if this is the third then it's game but Cypher Orange are still alive Lero tries to get a center but actually it was a shot but it was not on target Grillo tries to block but TRG is just finding a clear 14 seconds to go Cypher Orange needs to give everything to win this series Exido TRG right side of the field it's still on the side of Cypher Orange and it looks like it's going to be series of pushing gaming. And indeed it is. Game 5 goes to pushing gaming and what a series it was, Savvy. Yeah, indeed they're pushing gaming. The, uh, I mean, we expected, well, I expected them to win personally, but that was so incredibly close there. We saw in the last two minutes of, the, of that last game, Cypher Orange pulling out with incredible offense there. But again, they struggled with the boost management. They didn't have um, any potential to make a, an advanced play, get demos, passing plays, you know, they, the chances they had were sort of scrappy, and Pushing Gaming punished them so well. The efficiency of that team in terms of getting the ball upfield, getting it into the back of the net, and the accuracy on those shots was just incredible from Pushing Gaming, showing why they are now the top team in Champions Conference 1. Yeah, really good performance of Pushing Gaming, just closing out this Game 5 against Zypher Orange. Zypher Orange, did, they had some pressure at the end of Game 5, but it was just too late for them. Two goals for Pushing Gaming will close out this series for Zypher Orange. But uh, the stream is not over yet. We still have a game which will be played uh, very soon, actually. We're just going into a 5 minutes break. It will be DSEA Red against Team Nitro Omega in Division 2, so stay tuned. <laughs> 